thing that's called number sense. And everyone has this. All this information was from a seminar that I went to on numerical cognition uh, from Daniel Ansari. And so if I just look at this picture, which do I have more of, the little dots or the big dots? What are you doing? Little. Okay. And I'm, and I'm, not little. Count, I'm, I'm not counting up one, two, three, four, but I'm just looking them over and I'm going, I think I have more little dots. Now, if I were to count them, I'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Now, if I look at the big dots, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. So I actually have the same amount. How about that? But it looked like I had more of one than another. Now let's look at this one. Do I have the same amount, or it's do I have more little than big, or do I have three more different big sizes and little? More big than little. Okay. You're the same. And anybody? So I have mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight big. Mm -hmm. And I have one, two, three, four medium <sighs> size. And I have one, two, three small. So I did have more big ones than anything else. So here we have big, medium, and small. Which do you think I have more of? Uh, more big. More of big. More of big. More of big. big. Okay. No more big. Which do I have more of? Uh, more of big. More of, more of big because this one here is smaller than these three here. And even babies have a sense of quantity. Eight versus sixteen. Eight versus twelve. Just looking at these, comparing these two, I can see automatically I've got more here. I've got more oh. here without counting them. <clears throat> so this is all into what's called number sense. And even animals can tell which has more. We're born with a sense of what's called non-symbolic quantity that we share with other species. We love breathing. <laughs> exactly, just like we all breathe. And numerical symbols are human inventions. We didn't need to have the any numbers over here or over here to be able to see which one has more. We could just tell by looking without counting. We have that sense. But when we're talking about numbering things, people invented numbers. And so look at all different types of representations. All of these represent the number one. All of these symbols represent the number two. All of these symbols represent the number three. All of these represent the number four, and so on. And so when you have difficulty with math, it's typically you have some number sense things going on between the non-symbolic and the symbolic. Oh. And there's a direct correlation. And ordinality is a part of sequence, position, and rank. Which comes first, the six or the four? Cardinality refers to all sets of the quantity of five. Visual category would be that five is five is five. Transcoding is five is five. You know, when it's written out versus just the numeral. And so there's all these different things that are working on 
math yeah. and whether it's easy or hard for you. So having that really good sense of numbers makes a difference. And so here they're just playing a game showing where can they see ones. Over here we have some fours. She's trying to figure out where are the threes. Over here we've got groups of sixes. So she's still looking for where would I have groups of threes. So all of these kinds of things are important when we're talking about numbers and we're talking about why is it that memorizing the multiplication tables is difficult. Well, part of that is due to this thing called number sense. And so we can do a variety of activities at the same time as we are working on the multiplication facts. For example, what do, we, do these dots up here, the blue dots represent what number? So how did you come up with that? Can you explain how you came up with that? Well, I saw a four and a two, and I'm like, oh, that I know that I'm in six, and so I know it's six. Perfect, perfect. And I like the way you were to explain that, and that would is exactly how I would do it. Sometimes people might say, well, I saw a two and a two and another two. So I, I went two, four, six. They're both correct. There's no right or wrong in this. It's just how did you come up with it? Does that make sense? Yes. No longer. So we have the, the same kind of thing here with which is it? You know, it, I have... This one here, it's easier to see the four and the two as separate entities because uh, the two is white versus the four. Does that make sense? Here's another way of picturing six. So now I would say, how would you describe the last one? I just called by two... Oh, yeah, I count by twos. Okay. Now, on this one, and that works, this one, I might have gone a three and then four, five, six. Mm. Or I might have grouped this as three and another three. And so, you know, just looking at and doing some of these kinds of exercises is going to end up making a difference. So now let's look at this picture up here. Let's look at this one here. What number do I have? Seven. I have this one also. Eight. Eight. So how do I come up with eight? What? How did you figure that out? I skipped on my twos. Okay. Anybody else? And not really. She's asking somebody else. See, I see a group of six here, and so then I'm going to go seven, and then I count one more as eight. Because I know that one more than six is seven. It's just the next number. Do you see that? Yeah. What is this next number over here? Seven. Okay. And you knew that because... Why? Um, you see four and three. Okay, so you saw the group of four and then the group of three. I might have also gone two, four, six, and one more is seven. Now, what do I need to add to this to make it the same as that? One. Okay, so I can do a plus one. So mm -hmm. then I know that here I have um, seven plus one equals eight. And down here, I have seven, and I add one more, and I have the same amount. Yeah, 
So now I have the same thing. So I'm going to show you, we're going to do more of, of this kind of thing next time and we're going to get into some more complicated things. Um, but I want to show you one more um, exercise to do for, you know, number one, you want to do lots of playing with these kinds of things. Um, and so you start to see that six plus one more is seven. Seven plus one more is eight. Um, eight plus two more would be ten, so that you start to see those kinds of things. And we'll do some more activities next time. Um, in the meantime, I did want to share another activity. So I wanted to show you in the math program on lesson four, and a lot of you haven't gotten the math um, link yet because I want to get you started in having success with the reading and the spelling, um, the writing, the taking notes, and so forth before we add in the math. But on lesson four, this is a game here to help with learning um, multiplication as well as that number sense of how much space does the number six take up versus the number um, three? How much does two times three, what does that mean compared to two times six? How much space is that? I need to have that sense in my mind. I need to have that sense in my mind on a number line where with one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight be. If I have three plus two more, where would I be? So I need to start being able to make those kinds of pictures in my mind. So this game will help with that. It's a little dice game. You can play it for five minutes. You can play it for 10 minutes. You can play it for 15 minutes. Um, it's just a real quick game. And, and the handout uh, for it is right beneath the video. The other thing that this page has, it's another tracking exercise, which will be very helpful for vision. But it also has where you're working on your multiplication facts. And so on this page, we're doing the twos and we always start at zero. So I'm going to go like this. Zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And I'm gonna do it again. I, we, when we talked about, well, how did you get that? How did you get that there was seven? Uh -huh. Well, I counted by twos and there was one more. How did you get that there were eight? We started up here first. How did you get there were six? Well, I saw a four and a two. Okay. So having those kinds of conversations. Okay. It's going to be really helpful. Okay. And then you can do that with dominoes too. So we'll be doing more exercises of this type of thing that will really be helpful. And we'll also are going to do some things so that you be able to print out and use them as manipulatives. But it's not just using them as manipulatives, but talking about it. And so when I did this one here, the bottom one, someone said they counted by twos. I'm going, I saw this as a three, and then I counted individually four, five, six. But I also could have grouped this as three and three, so I knew it was six. Here I have the four and the two. The four and the two. But I could have just counted by twos, two, four, six, or I could have counted this way, two, four, six. Are, are you trying to get the child to understand that there may be more than one way to arrive at the at the answer yes okay 